Uh, I've got to ask you guys, we've got to uh, let uh, Mr. Labour run, but we've got to ask you about Novak Djokovic because you touched on it. He's winning another four in a row potentially. What, where does it, you start with you because you worked with him. Where does Novak fit in with Roger and Rafa in terms of, because if he wins here, you're going to have to start talking about him as, uh, as, as good and maybe as Roger or not? Well, he's been uh, running behind Roger and Rafa uh, uh, in the terms of respect and love. Uh, uh, from the tennis community and and you know he's I know him very well he's a nice guy he loves the game he loves you he loves the history of it and he wants to be part of it right, so and, he cares and about the love he from cares, the people yeah yeah and and I think it's important for him to to get the acknowledgement he deserves if he, if he wins a second slam I mean four matches in a row you're the only sure. one that's done it he would be the, the second player to have done it and and we talk a little bit more about Roger and Rafa than we do about Novak. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it's it's great to see someone like uh, you know Novak. His ground strokes, his his ability to play under pressure, and he yes he had had about a, a year and a half ago. You know he just seems like he was down. Yeah. But now he's he's I think he's serving better than he's ever served. Yeah. I think he, he's easy to go to the net. He's learned how to put make this drop shot and a weapon. Where you don't you you you're not necessarily winning to win the point, but you're bringing the person in, right. and he he can ground strokes, he can lob, he's got a, all, all those weapons with in front of him, and he he his drop shots are almost perfection. Yeah, and yeah. so I think you know a, a, a lot of uh, you know his his game, maybe maybe it's, it's it's too clinical, and the crowd don't can't really yeah. see a, a whipping forehand or a you know diving volley vo for it but he, he's just he's just unbelievable the way he's playing and competing yeah. and you know if he wins this particular tournament you know on on the real grand slam of winning yeah. the Australian first yeah. then going around he's uh, won, won Wimbledon last year yeah. so so if your life depended on it <laughs> yeah. they brought their A games where would you rank them at this present time? The, the, those three guys. What would you uh, is? What do you think? At at the moment, I think uh, for me, it's almost a push, a toss up on uh, no Novak and uh, and and Ra and Rafa, and and I think that yeah, you know, because you know, someone like Roger doesn't really get out and play it all the time now, yeah. and so he's so he's they. It's amazing that he can do exactly what he wants, but he, you know, when you're looking after a 38-year-old body, you know, how do you, how do you make sure that you're ready for the next match? Mm -hmm. And I thought, just playing Marinka here yesterday or the day before, yeah. that how will he turn up, you know, right. the next day? Yeah. But thing is, if he if he had to play front up that next day, yeah. and do it again, you know, could how long could he? Last. He didn't have to. If, if, Thank so goodness. He, if he wins two or three five setters, it'd it'd, it'd, yeah, it'd, yeah. it'd it'd be a tell. And so, at the moment, he's in a great position because of the 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 rain that has delayed everything. Yeah, we yeah. did recall that in 2000 was it 17 after taking six months off, and I believe they called the Rod Laver Arena. <laughs> he won three five setters. Right. That's true. He did, including three one down in the fifth in the doll. Yeah. yeah, this guy's yeah. not bad. So, you know, he's you know, he's, he's like you. <laughs> Did you get? Can I apologize? I want to apologize to you just before you go. I know you have to go, and there's a lot of TV people who want to work <laughs> because I called him the the most beautiful player I've ever seen. But I've got to say, I'm going to call it a push oh. between you two because you were absolutely beautiful player to watch. I want to just say, you know that I've told you that many times, and I try to emulate your game. But you are absolutely. You started this. You allowed people like Roger Federer to become the player that he's become. So w on behalf of all of us, we thank you for that. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. <laughs> Thanks for coming no, by, Rod. Yeah, thank, I was, you. thank you. I was thrilled to be a part of it and see Boris and Matt's. Super. Thank you very John. much. Thank this you. Outstanding.